Look who's back at it. Causing all that static. It's the old fanatic. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Causing Static. We're yours truly, the fanatic. Um, subscribe to the channel. Give me the like. Hit that like button. I uh, really appreciate it to help me out. Um, tell a friend or tell two. A um, lot of things going on. Just want to wrap up the Valentines and the Super Bowl, and because I forgot about Usher. Can we stop? Can we please stop with this, the pop stars? I mean, he was relevant 20 years ago. I mean, come on. Just go back to the old bands, the high school band, the college band, so they can do the, the, the pictures that they do of the teams that are in it. Go back to that. Try that. I mean, the other bands just stood there and walked and marched a little bit. These guys, the people have done real, you should see some of them YouTubes with uh, Ohio, Ohio State and um, Florida State and um, Michigan. They do some great scenes. I mean, I'm sure they all do it, but I know the Ohio State's amazing. Um, again, it is what it is, but too long. I mean, I, I I was like, I was like, this is what you're gonna show. Usher. I mean, he got a couple of good songs. I mean, I'm an old rocker, but he got a couple. But come on, enough is enough. Um, and other matters. Seeing the Mad Dog was really uh, Mad Dog Russo breaking chops with Dan Orlowski. Saying he was a scrub, even though he won the challenge against the modern quarterbacks, the Pro Bowl bullshit. Two things could be the truth. Yeah, you were a scrub, Olaski. You you weren't too good. You made it. Gotta give you your props, but you weren't too good. But the mad dog saying he could beat you in that that competition, come on, Mad Dog. First of all, you're a tennis guy. And you're an old man. Um, I don't think he could ever throw... And you have to have... Even though it's not a game, you have to have recognition and the targets and timing. Just because you play tennis don't mean you can do it. You can't do it, brother. You're an old man. You're good at this. So keep talking. Keep yapping. Yeah, good morning, everybody. That's what you're good at. Do it. And Mad Dog, by the way, I saw you on the video YouTube, and I see you on first take. Whew. Man, do you got a face for radio? Whew. Whoa. Ah. I mean, I'm sure you heard that before. You heard, I mean, he used to say on the radio, he would call him up, hang up. Come on, man. I mean, it was funny what you said. You said the truth. I mean, Olaski was uh, nothing, but he made it. He better than you. So, um, a Valentine's story real quick. Driving to um, pick up a couple of uh, necessary items, you know, whatever, uh, milk, whatever, something for the, something for pick up for the side for dinner. Um, I was sitting at a red light, some guy walking down the street, flowers or, you know, all kinds of stuff. I said, I got, I just got to do it. I go, put the window down. I mean, it was cold, but I put the window down. I said, oh, you didn't have to get me nothing. This guy laughed like it was the funniest thing he's ever heard. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I like. I mean, that's what I mean. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's that you... I'm not with you in in you know real time and something because again Jonathan Joe Mo they're like oh man you're funny you got something well I want to I'm I'm like I said this is therapy for me I'm not going away but I want to see the numbers come up come on 
I, I again I scroll through, I see people. I don't I don't know why you'd want to watch them again. I think I got more than that. Um Valentine's came and got, come and went, came and went. I mean, I know a lot of people are probably gonna go out um Saturday Friday or Saturday. A little cheaper. Probably less crowded. I mean Funny thing, funny story. This is like, and people are like, ah, oh, you're fanatic, you're making it up. You're full, you're full of malarkey. Um, White Castle, you got to make reservations. They put balloons, red, white, pink balloons in there, all red. And White Castle? Really? I'm, I wanted to go over there and, you know, but, you know, let them have their fun. Just to prove to you. I mean, I know it's true. I rode past once. I couldn't believe it. Um, is that really... I mean, I like it. I don't love it. I mean, I go, I eat it once in a while. It's, it's hard on you. Especially when you get older. Is that really where you want to go? Is that ro romantic? I mean, I don't know. I mean... Who am I to judge? I'm not, you know, I'm not romantic. I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah, what you are again. Oh, man, I, I don't know what I'm seeing. I see a lot of weird stuff going on. I never seen, um, you know, kids. Like, guy, kids, whatever, not boy, boys, not girls, grabbing and touching and hugging. When I was a teenager, you ain't grabbing and hugging and touching me unless you're a girl. Oof. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. We had to, I mean, I don't know. People are like, oh, yeah, you must be making that. Everywhere I go, everywhere I work, you all must be making that up. I'm I'm telling you, a kid, a freshman kid, sat at a senior table, right hand, right hand to God, make sure, you know, ref from right, right hand to God, what are you doing sitting here? I'm sitting, I'm going to have lunch. You know, you ain't sitting here. Freshman kid, I'm going to sit wherever I want. Mistake. He sat somewhere, all right. The chair got picked up. Pass him around. Oof! Food all over. Ass over tea kettle. He learned. Senior, junior told you, you skedaddled. Ah, I mean, I seen it all. I mean, and everyone's like, oh, why'd you go to why'd you go to school in New York? No. Patterson, no, small town, but I'm telling you right now, folks, the mo worst fight I ever saw, you know, more violent, MMA, I forget about MMA, real fight, street fight, schoolyard fight, whatever you want to call it, two girls fighting over a guy. Cheated, you know, whatever the story was. It's a long time ago, but it was cheating, you know. So the girlfriend, who was known as the girlfriend, starts fighting with this girl. Grabbing hair, twisting hair, bashing into the lockers, clawing, fighting. Gym teachers coming in there. Um, the vice principal, they're still fighting. The police come. The police and they're getting in between them, and they're still trying to get at each other. Now, that's a fight. Usually when the guys go, they go in and right to their face, go, come on, come on. And uh, they want the littler kid to back down or the supposed weaker kid to back, back, back down. And most of the time they did. Or people came in right in there, hey, 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 nothing was happening, nothing was thrown. We went, there was this big, big, big to-do, meeting meet at the, at the bridge, at the, at the party bridge, where these two kids are going to throw down. 
He went up to him, got him in his face, bumping him, bumping him, bumping him. Somebody in the crowd, what are you going to do? He go right next to him. What are you going to do? Kiss him? Everybody started laughing. Even the guys that were going to fight would start laughing. So then they're like, oh, well, you really... The cops came. Nothing happened. I mean, you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to get, you don't want to get beat up. You don't want to get knocked out or, you know... Or support or think people you lost people the people to think you lost the fight. So you know you you know bump bump chest bump. Nothing really happened. The girl fight in the high school in the hallway, bashing with the lockers, and another girl fight down at the park. Those are the biggest fights I ever saw, of regular people. And, and, and the funny part about that is. The kid, the girl that was dating the kid, you know, that everyone was known that was his, supposed to be his girlfriend, took him back, forgave him. She could have had anybody, almost anybody she wanted in the school. He, she went back with this cheater. I mean, I know she was older than me, but I hear. No, I wasn't bad. I had a lot of hair. I wasn't a bad looking guy. I mean, matter of fact, I'm going to, you know, reminisce a little. Um, we were uh, at the Great White concert. Great White and somebody else. I think White Snake. And Jack Russell was singing Save Your Love. You know, ballad. But check that one out. Save Your Love, Great White. If you like ba rock ballads. And he was singing rock ballads. We were in like 10th row, 11th row. And we see these girls melting. Melting for this guy singing that song. And they were they were smoking, they were hot. My friend goes to me, my old friend goes, see those girls, man. This guy can have any one of them girls. Just imagine if or when. I don't know if he said if or when. When you make it, you're better looking than him. You're gonna. Ah, yeah, sure. I said, yeah, that'd be great. You know what? Maybe it would have been great. Maybe it would have been true. But at that moment. I really wasn't thinking about that because in that moment, I would have traded getting back with my first, you know, serious girlfriend and re rekindling or uh, reconciling with her than having them. That's just me. I mean, I mean, you know, you're, you're a teenager, whatever. I mean, I mean, I mean that. Um, call me stupid. I mean... Obviously, something came between us, you know, change, your feelings changed, but I really meant it. I would rather have been recon tried to reconcile with her, but, I mean, that's water on the bridge. It just goes to show you the guys like, oh, look at all these girls. Maybe so. I mean, Russell was no, you know, he wasn't fucking Cousin It or uh, the Elephant Man, but he was, you know, average looking, but. Famous. I mean, it's a little reminisce, a little story, but that was funny. It taught me, look at all this girl. All right. Um, uh, Valentine's, it's not, it's tough. But now if you really want to try, try to get somebody, now's the time to do it. Valentine's is gone. You can um, relax and just, Meet for a coffee, meet for a drink. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to give you no Dear Abby unless you want it. You know, you need the advice from the fanatic. Help you any way I can. Lean on me, folks. Another shooting. It's getting to be where you can't even go nowhere. You're afraid. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, folks. I'm not afraid. I went to the big, Mr. Big, it was a small theater. I mean, still a decent amount of people. I'm, a, you know, what if happen, whatever happens, happens. I'm ready. I mean, am I going to jump in front of a bullet? No, but I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to, you know, not go. My number's up, it's up. You know, I've seen a lot and I've done a lot. 
I'm probably going to see a lot more, but if it's time, I'm not going to stay home because of these idiots. And a uh, little hurt, heard a little bit about the Kansas City was a dispute. So that makes you feel a little bit better that it wasn't just said nut, nut, nut going to kill people for no reason because they're depressed. Or they're like, oh, I don't want no one to have fun, no one to celebrate. Those are the sick people. I mean, the other stuff, you know, you, you're trying to hurt somebody or take somebody's life for a dispute. Yeah, it's wrong, but I can I can I can see the point. I can see both sides. You know, you lose control, but you're hurting somebody that you think's done you wrong. Again, I don't want to get on the soapbox here, but that's just the way I feel, and what the way I live and the way I seen things go down. I mean, back in another story, you know, another reminiscent for the old gang. Van Winkle gang. Shout out. Um and 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 to tell you the truth, um this guy this guy who the story happened to was kind of fell out, falling out of favor with the with the group nowadays. But back then the little kid pulled out a knife and dum dums like go ahead, go ahead, cut me. God, man, he 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 knew that we were all there, but if this kid really stabbed him, I mean, we would have beat the hell out of the other kid, but you would still, would have been, still would have been stabbed. I mean, you ain't the smartest. I know you always knew you weren't the smartest bulb in the tree, Uncle Fester, but you, I mean, you got a lot of problems. And as a kid, he is, you overlook him. You got your own problems, but... You got real problems. I hope you hope you're in therapy. I really do. Um, to me, you really don't exist for the things you've said about your mom and just in your attitude in general. I mean, I I couldn't care less about you. Sorry. Oh man. What a knucklehead. And there's other people that I miss. I do miss them. I miss my friend from uh, California. You know, again, maybe we're, I was, he, I, he was more my friend than I was his, but I miss him. I miss the big Tookster, Tookamanias running wild, brother. Um, you know, if they find out about it, shout out, you know, reach out. I miss them, you know. You're never going to be the same. Never, It's never going to be the same. But I think about him. I wish him nothing but the best. I mean, make bygones be bygones. You know, I could do the same thing with my first, re uh, first real, my quote-unquote first love. Wish her nothing but the best. My ex-wife, the mother of my children, we're not together, but... Bygones be bygones. You live your life. God bless you. Have a good have a good life. We get along better now. So you know, you know. Again, bygones be bygones. Wish you nothing but the best. Um, or we could go the old this, this Fred Sanford way. The goodbyes be goodbyes. Goodbye. Nah. Um, it's Sanford and Son. That's a good one. I'm gonna show I'm gonna tell you about that in a future episode. I got all them. Uh Mrs. Fanatic got me the series. I mean again, me and the Mrs. are dinosaurs. We got CDs and DVDs coming out the wazoo here. That funny. That Freddy was fun. You couldn't do that now. Everybody's too sensitive. It's like all in the family with Archie Bunker. Couldn't do that. Couldn't say that stuff no more. I mean, it's sad. I mean, everybody's... Eh, everybody's a snowflake. Everybody's set feelings that are going to get hurt. And everybody has to get a trophy. Listen. If you're doing something and you don't win, you don't, you shouldn't get a trophy. You should not get a trophy so you try harder or try something else that you maybe you're better at. No, I got look. I got the second bubble ball. Uh, 
whatever the color ribbon is second place. You know what? I got a second I got a second place ribbon ribbon one time. I don't remember for what. I threw it in the garbage. I I don't know. I I think I I stumbled out of the box or whatever. Or maybe the kid was fast, so that was his day. All the other ones I kept. All the blue ribbons for the winner. I the first place ones I kept. All the red ones or the gold, whatever, I threw in the garbage. Well I got one, so. Same with the other. I uh, won the championship in Little League and then came in second in JD, runner up, because one of the one of our best our probably our best player, one of the two best players went to Texas for whatever reason instead of playing in the championship. And we 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 lost. We but we didn't get swept. We won one we won the second game. We could have won the first game, but a couple of people made a couple errors, so it was a surprise. And then the third game, we just got we got boat raced. But that's water under the bridge. I wore the jacket a couple of times. You really didn't want to wear it. This is American League champs or whatever, whatever division. We didn't win. I, I was mad. Everyone else, you know, they all went up there, shook their hands out. Not me. Right to the parking lot. Start the engine, Dad. Let's go. Out. Done. Yeah. You know, like I said, I changed a lot, but I, you know, that's just me. That's just me. I just did you, losing. The, like, the winning was okay. Yeah, yeah, you won. The losing stuck with me. And it bothered me. And it's gotten better over the years, but you can't really change who you are. You just got to learn to mellow and relax. But back in those days, oh my goodness, excuse me. I, I was, oof. I'll tell you one, tell you another story. We were getting ready to play a game. And, um, you know, the Fanatics, he's... So I going over... You know, there are, there are other teams out there warming up on the field. The Fanatic, I see a couple of people I know over in the, you know, the bleachers. So I'm walking over there. I walk over there. I'm talking, blah, 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 blah. The coach called, hey, hey, 10, big one, oh, that was my number 10. 10, whatever, and my name. Come on, let's go. So I'm coming and coming and coming, and I go look back, talk to the people, you know, Finish the convers kind of half ass finish the conversation. I keep I'm walking. I turn around, fucking some kid, knocked the fanatic, knocked me out, put me down, broke my nose. No black eyes, broke my nose. I mean, looks all right. I mean, out smelling sauce from uh, one of the old gang's fathers was one of the. Ambulance, the volunteers, ambulance corps. Oh, all right, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm getting. Put me back. Put me in the. Where am I? What position am I playing? You ain't playing no position. You go into the hospital. You just got knocked out. Oh, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Went to the hospital. Little tape. You know, little, just a little tape. I mean. Probably had a concussion. He didn't even check. Yeah, hey, you okay? Looked at my eyes. Put this shit on my face. Put him nose. Fucking ice. Send you home. Next day, he couldn't believe it. No black eyes. Like, wow, man. I was out. It was probably the only time I was knocked out. That I could, you know. I mean, I mean, I know. I probably had concussions playing ball, playing sand street lot, sand lot football with no helmets, bagging heads. I got hit in the back of the head too, with a line drive from my from my main man. But you can't you can't you can't kill the Reaper, man. <laughs> you can't kill me. That's the fucking death race. That's death race. The the guy the kid one of the guy convicts and then he gets killed. But that's a good. That's another good one. I like. I think I reviewed that one. Uh, death race with Jason Statham. I like that movie. Uh, times, man. 
Gotta remember those old times. The people in your life. You know, you drift apart, but like I said, I miss those some of them old guys. I remember story time with Rob. In the bleachers of uh, Roosevelt, old, old, good old Roosevelt school. Man, there was guys, I had those guys rolling. Story time, we were... Story time, yeah. Um, so, uh, the weekend's coming up. Um, President's Day, day off from work. I'm off tomorrow, too. They told me to stay home. So, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, you had the snow, you, you stay home, you got a lot of days, oh, wow, no, no, no fuss, no muss, I'll stay home, I don't know, the people over there, man, they, some of them, they, some of them just don't have a clue, I don't know how they, I don't know how they get through the day. And just, poof. oh man, the things they do, I mean, I, I don't know. I can't even explain. And the kids, the kids, the, the kids are getting worse and worse and worse. When I first started working around kids, you know, the kids are a couple of couple wise asses, but most of them are all right. Now you got everybody scooching and touching and, oh, I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How many times are you going to say you're sorry? How many chances are you going to get? You give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. I mean, I don't know. And everybody wants to be labeled. Oh, I'm ADHD. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Oh, I'm bipolar. Yeah. You know what it is? I think they get away with stuff at home. That's what I think. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm glad I'm uh, up, you know... In the fifties, and I, because I don't know where where these guys are gonna end up. I mean, some of them are kind of helpless. I mean, again, I didn't like school. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you folks. Um, but st I surprised myself with remembering stuff. And uh, one of the teachers was like, "Ah, oh, how, how did you remember that?" I'm like. I don't know, it just stuck in my head. I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not stupid. I didn't apply myself, at all, but that must have just stuck in there for some reason. Or, I'm, or I got lucky, who knows. But I think I knew the answers and I put the answers down. Man, you just, if you want to learn, you can learn. If you want to learn from someone that has experience, even if it's not 100% of um, by the book, you're going to learn something. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to try. You're going to learn something. You're going to, I hope I'm going to make you laugh. And I hope it don't make you cry unless you're crying with laughter. I mean, if you want to cry because of my pain, go ahead. I appreciate it. Um, but, again, the weekend's coming. Um, I don't know what the missus has got on her plate. I mean, she's, you know, she's always got something up her sleeve. We'll see. Um, there's really nothing else to say, folks. Um, I wish it was at the Devil game tonight. I wanted to go see the Devils and the Kings, but can't always go out. I mean, I ain't made the money here. Um, thinking about going live in a couple weeks, seeing how to, if you could get an interest to the people. Again. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but give me a shout out. Give me a chance. Um, I'm going to try my best for you. And I'll give you this quote. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And from the fanatic, remember, opinions, except for mine, are like till the next time enjoy <laughs>